This is INN News with a special report. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Penn Holderness. We now have confirmation that there is an outbreak of a virulent new influenza strain in China, and it's spreading rapidly throughout the country. Now, we have no confirmed patient zero at this time, but cases have already been reported in Shanghai, Hong Kong, Chengdu, and Beijing. Mortality rate is at about 35 percent, and the disease is striking individuals of all age groups. It's also been confirmed that it is this flu that has struck Richard Broadhead, president of Duke University, though his condition at this time seems to be stable. While some of the team had returned to the U.S. or had left Shanghai for other international destinations before Broadhead got sick, the remainder of the team is still with him, and we do not know whether any of them have been affected. The WHO is on high alert, and its Global Outbreak and Alert and Response Network is monitoring the outbreak at all times. With all of the travel between China and the rest of the world, there's still great concern that what people are already calling the Chinese flu could spread outside China and become pandemic 2011. So how do we keep the American people, not to mention the rest of the world, safe? Needless to say, our own Centers for Disease Control are assessing the situation carefully. While the National Influenza Center in China has recently become a full-fledged WHO collaborating center in the Global Influence Sentinel Surveillance Network, our sources report that China refuses to release samples of the virus so that scientists around the world can begin working on a vaccine. Evidently, Chinese officials are concerned that without an explicit benefit-sharing agreement, any vaccine developed might not be accessible or affordable. Now, this development raises a fundamental issue regarding pandemics in an increasingly globalized world. How do we share access to information, find cures, and develop drugs in a way that everyone benefits? For more on this, we're going to go live to Dr. Anthony So, a leading expert in access to medicine and intellectual property at Duke University. Anthony.